All right, so I figure I open up this video here at Citizens Bank. We got to uh, deposit, not deposit, take out some money and get this slimmed down. There's a bunch of random bills. Should I make it neater? Let me go pick this bike up so I'm not counting 100 bills here. We'll go get this all organized, come back, head, uh, head to the local dealer, pick up the bike, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. So this is, uh, if you don't know, I sold my sled. I don't think I actually posted anything on it. So sold my snowmobile. We've had a great winter this year. I rode my sled maybe four times. And uh, so finally got that thing gone. Probably uh, pick up a new one at the end of this year. Next year. Like a nice forever sled. Yeah, pick up a sled that'll actually keep this time and something I'll have for a while, so. All right, we've got the supplies. We're good to go. Beautiful. The guy was, the guy was asking me a bunch of questions. He's like, what are you buying? I'm like, going to pick up a dirt bike. He's like, did you already check it out? I'm like, yeah. He's like, does it run good? I'm like, yeah, it's brand new. Hopefully it runs good. You should have told him you were going to buy White Claws. I'm going to buy thousands of dollars worth of white claws. Yeah, we'll head to the dealer and uh, we'll go pick this thing up. We're just rolling up here. The next clip should be us putting the bike in the back, crate it up, and uh, we'll bring it back to the house and uh, get this thing built. Didn't have to sign anything. It should be uh, hopefully ready to go. Oh, he's just gonna make sure it's the right uh, van, and then he wants me to back up. But I don't know how he's gonna. He's gonna. All right, we got it loaded up. We'll head back to the house and figure out how we're getting this thing unloaded. We just got this thing back to the house. We're gonna figure out how we're getting it off the truck now. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna go about it. It's not too, too heavy, but it should be interesting to get this thing off. It might just slide right off the back. Hold up. And then I don't know where we're gonna go from here, so. Look at, look at all these on. on the bottom. Hold up, look at this, over here. Get a little sneak peek in there. Oh, oh, that thing's beautiful. All right, we'll wait till we get this thing off. But uh, we might just kind of shimmy it down, put it like upright, like ramp-like, and then just uh, pin the truck forward and then it'll slam down. Tie it up to the razor. I don't think we need to, dude. I think that's why you bought the razor. Just pull it, just hook it up to the razor and just full throttle. Yeah. Just tie up a strap to the back of the razor, back of the strap here, full throttle, pull it right up. Strap there, strap there. You know what, you're not wrong. Who needs a forklift when you got a side-by-side? -side? I couldn't have gone any smoother. My belt's completely grenaded. Hadn't gotten around to changing it yet, and uh, now we have to. Well, that wasn't so bad. thought that would be a little bit harder than it was, so. Honestly, we'll probably pull this in the garage, move some stuff out of the way, and then we'll get this thing built. Actually, just in time, we just got a new set of bars and uh, grips and stuff that'll slap on there because I'm sure the bars are already off. Let's take this cover off, get the reveal. The full reveal. Keep the zippers on that side. And we'll just lift it right up. Oh, there it is. We'll get this thing in the garage, get it all built up. I think they put the battery in there already for me charged up. That's why I had to wait on it. They had to let the battery charge overnight. But pretty cool. Here's the full uh, full look in the crate if you were to buy one in the crate. Man, I didn't know this thing was red. <laughs> I, think they I thought I bought a Cowie. I think they messed up the, they gave me the wrong bike. You wanted a Cowie 450, the, right? They gave me the wrong bike. I got a 450, not a 250. 250s ah. are for children. Get this thumbnail and then get this thing built. Now we can finally get at it. It's really not too much. Just put the new bars, take all the stuff off these bars. Front wheel and uh, side panel. I think that's it, really. The one side panel. Not too hard. And then I'll go through and grease everything up good. Just literally puts that on and then run it. I'll do the break in like here, a couple of idles, and then I'll just drain the oil. I don't care about that. I just. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Think for the break. Oh, I was gonna say, where are you? Is that the camera? You're all the way. You're right. <laughs> 
just I really have to stand far back. The cameraman having an issue. We need to fix it. Fucking dying. Yeah, is this It's as easy as that. His choice. Your bike okay. isn't like that, you're fine. Vlog you well, want. Well, the grips are already dirty. They're ready to go. Twist it. Didn't tighten the seat all the way. Let me know when you're on. That? Right there. And it also goes there. So I'm not making an issue with your Saturday. Alright, here we go. We're sealing the deal. Final step here. What about the skid plate? Boom! Skid plate, that, that's later. And fill it up with some gas, and I'll crank this thing up. Get the first start on this thing. Wait, wait, wait. Crank? You're gonna kick it over? We'll push this thing up. We'll push it. <laughs> first fill up. I'm gonna spill it everywhere. Oh, oh, we're good, we're good. We'll just spill a little. We only need a little bit. For the warm up, there's a couple <laughs> idling break ins. That should be good. Half tank. Oh, you dribbled a little. I spilled a lot. You dribbled actually. a little. I could already tell. We need Yoshi's Pronto. Wow. That's good. Oh. <laughs> it blew up. It blew it up. First start. I'll do one last heat cycle here and then uh, we'll get it loaded up. Get a couple of sound clips revving it up once it's warmed up. So there you have it, picking up and assembling my new Honda CRF 250. Um, thanks to Honda for sending that out. Honda sent me a brand new Honda. Basically as if Honda sent me a Honda from Honda in the crate to my house, essentially. I got a little bit off getting it in the crate, so that's why I did that. But with that, let me know what you think. Let me know what parts you think I should put on this thing, um, other than obviously pipes and uh, graphics. I know a lot of you are probably surprised on this purchase getting a Honda. Some of you probably aren't. I kind of wanted just to match the 110 to the 450 to the 250 along with Kawi. I've had a Kawi for like four years now and I just wanted to change, wanted to switch it up, try something new and I still got the two Kawis right here. Um, so we're not totally getting rid of Kawis. Who knows, next year I might get go back to Kawi, might hate the Honda, might get rid of it and wait for the 2021 Kawi 250 to come out. That way it should have e-start and it'll have the full change and it's not basically the same bike again. So a little change up, something fresh, get that kind of hype again of wanting to ride and trying something new. If you have not gotten an entry in to win my CRF 110 that just got built, if you didn't see last video of fully building this thing up, getting everything coated, all blinged out, a couple uh, all black powder coat red, anodized parts, bunch of parts from T-Bolt, um, bigger pegs, BBR stiff springs, it's got the traction of max seat cover, Yosh on there, blacked out the wheels, blacked out everything pretty much. Thing looks pretty sweet triple clamps are red so if you want to win this thing every five dollars spent gives you one entry on my website top link in the description grab something if you want to win this thing ends march 15th so i'd get on it before you miss out if uh, you want to win a free 110 basically i think it came out pretty sweet though i'm filming the outro and the outro to this at the same time so if you watch both videos back to back now you know but with that if you guys want to see riding videos on this thing next week 
Make sure you're subscribed, like the video, share with your friends. If you wanna see what's going down before the videos come out, you can follow me on Instagram, at Todd Monaghan. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.